Hello there, I'm Alex Garamy from the Nipex UK team and I'd just like to take a, a little bit of time to help you and explain our cutting tools in our range. Uh, we obviously have quite a few different types of cutting tool and it can be a little bit confusing. So what I'd like to do is just to give you a, a very brief explanation and try and help you to make the right choice when it comes to cutting tools. So starting with diagonal side cutters, these are obviously used for cutting cable and they can also be used to cut things like softer nails, galvanized nails. But once you start to move up the scale of hardness in each individual type, so cable or nails, you'll have to use a different type of tool. As I said, the 70 series is our entry level cutter and this is more than capable of cutting a softer nail as well as cutting small copper cables. It does that with ease. So this would be the staple tool for the electrician. But if you're looking to cut maybe bigger wires or maybe slightly harder material, you would then move up to what we call our, our high leverage cutter, which is a 74. Uh, this has been designed to have 25% less effort required to cut the same materials. So obviously it makes cutting a nail easier. Slightly larger cables are cut with the same amount of effort. Moving further up the scale, we have what we call our, our X-cut. And this is a new product for 2012. And this has been designed specifically to be a lightweight, powerful cutter. And this actually cuts with 40% less effort required than the 70 series side cutter. So as you can see, with an even harder nail, it makes very light work of cutting the same product. Now, once you start to go harder or slightly larger with cables or with nails, you then have to decide which way you're going to go with the tools. On the nail or the harder material side of things, we have what's called our twin force cutter. And this was released again in 2012 as a new product. And this has been designed to cut with 70% less effort required than the basic side cutter. Although it may look like an electrical cutter, it has been designed mainly for cutting the harder materials. So harder nails, uh, suspended fixing rods and sprung steel. As you can see, it cuts sprung steel with great ease and it saves you a lot of effort. To go further up the scale of hardness on this particular type of material, you would then be looking to move to something like our Cobalt, which is again a new product. And essentially this is a mini bolt cropper. And as you can see, this cuts a suspended sealing rod with great ease. It takes very little effort. Obviously harder than this material, you're then moving into the territory of bolt croppers which we all know what they're capable of. Now, if you're moving into larger cables, we would suggest that although you could use the X-cut to cut one of maybe a thicker solid cable like this one, it's not advised because although it would cut that, it would make quite a mess of it. As you can see, the cable, it is capable of cutting the cable, but it doesn't make a very pretty job of it and it squashes the cable purely because of the way the blades move. What we would recommend for this is that you go to what we call our cable shear, which has been designed specially to cut the larger cables. And as you can see, cuts through the cable with great ease and also makes a very nice finish. Moving further up the scale from there, you would be looking at our ratchet cutters, which would be used to cut things like bigger armored cables. Now it's important to note that these cutters aren't designed to cut steel wire armour as it will damage the blades. So only on the inner cores of those. And then to move further up the scale from there, you have our bigger telescopic cutters, again for the biggest cables, which is quite an obvious choice. Most of the cutters we have in our range are available in different sizes. And for the, the cutters that are specifically designed to cut cable, we also offer these in a VDE compliant finish, which is 1000 volt rated. So that's a basic overview of the cutting range of the Nipex tools. I hope it's been of use to you and uh, hopefully we look forward to seeing you at some of the exhibitions over the next few months. Thank you.